Hey guys, Temporarily Puddles here, back with another video on my second favorite deck of the expansion, Overload Shaman. So, currently this deck is not the best deck in the game. I will grant you that. You have a terrible matchup against Warriors, but honestly, if you're not playing Warriors, and you're looking for a class that's really good against all these mech decks, and these priests, and all these like weird, all the weird stuff, you know, the mages that's going on, this is a pretty good choice. Uh, this build right here, I ran pretty effectively around rank 5 to rank 4, uh, about 60% win rate over 20-ish games, which is a really good win rate. Um, I made a couple adjustments partway through the video to make the deck better in this meta really quickly. Uh, I added a second Earthshock, destroys mech decks, and the priest decks that are running around absolutely destroys them. Uh, Tot Totemic Smash, really good against aggro. It also gives you extra cycle, as does the Earthshock, with my boy Spirit of the Frog, which may be the best card in the entire deck. Thunderhead's pretty close. Um, yeah, so to make those adjustments, I took out one Feral Spirit, and I took out the two, um, Unbound Elementals. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. The deck speaks for itself, honestly. It's got a lot of damage, and it's really fucking fun. So, uh, yeah, if you guys liked the video, be sure to subscribe and drop a like. Thanks. There you are. This gives me a 1 into 2 play, because he's probably mech hunter, which means I'm probably going to have to kill a minion off on 2 with 1 mana. With that. And I'd rather not trade the Sludge Slurper if I can avoid it. I don't really have a choice. Just gotta stop the snowball. Pointing out the three? Damn, what the hell? Okay, well, that's not good. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do here. Okay. Slow. I mean, he can equip shit to this, but the Earth Shock was still. I guess it wasn't relevant, right? There was no reason to do it right then. That sucks, because that's just gonna leave the egg trades off everything. Got my boy Thunderhead to stick. Thunderhead's crazy. He should uh, maybe do something pretty, pretty good. Who knows? I really just don't want him to have mechs on the field, right? I pretty much am just gonna continuously play around that as best as I can. I think my biggest problem when I play this deck personally is that I'm not nearly aggressive enough when I'm doing things. Okay, so I can go till next turn. I'm just gonna pop the fuck off. I don't think he can kill both of these. And if he can't kill either of them, holy fuck. I'm just gonna fill my entire hand up and win the game off of Murlocs. That's uh, a slow turn for you, dude. There's no way I lethal this guy here, right? No. 
6, 9, 10, 14. No, there's no fucking way. Yeah, Murlocs are fucking wild. Underbelly is not a fair and balanced card by any stretch of the imagination. Now, he would still have to do a pretty ridiculous amount of damage to kill me here, but it is a possible amount of damage. Fucking crazy. Underbelly Angler? Nuts. Absolutely nuts. So what are we looking at here? Oh, who? Double underbelly angler. Okay, what's he got here? Stalandris. He's gonna play Power of the Wild. Token Druid's pretty bad against this deck. Thunderhead's really strong in this matchup because I bet, like, I can just stop him from building a board. Because he has to basically wait two turns to build a ball, like a real board. This is where he gives them both plus one plus one. I know he just attacks with that. I mean, he can kill one of them, but I don't know that he's going to be able to do much else. Plus, even if he somehow magic... I mean, I guess if he has Wrath, right? That's the way he kills the second one? If he's got Wrath, he kills this, kills this, but that's... He's got three mana left? Try and find a nice cheap overload for an AoE off the lackey. Okay, slow-ass turn for him. I get something spicy. Wind Fury is pretty nuts, actually. Perplexing. Wind Fury is not bad for board control, is my big thought. I mean, he's saying I take Stormbringer every time. I guess I probably do with the totem guy. I must ponder. I mean, there aren't that many better minions, but it definitely could be, could be worse. I clear that next turn? Easily. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna slap on, ooh, that hurts a little bit, but I'm just gonna slap hammer on, so I don't really care.
Okay. So what does he do now? Does he have any, like, serious plays that are going to put him in a position to do anything real next turn? I don't think so. Stormbringer isn't that useful. I can double Earthen Elemental, and that's what? That's 9 plus 4 plus 2? Yeah, so that's only 16 or 14, 15 damage. Fucking math is hard. Go. Get him. I know he still has the other blessing. He can't play it here though. So I still have my nice 13 damage this turn, 15. I'm not very far off lethal. It's pretty easy to draw 5 damage in this deck. Yeah, you're still taking the damage. So I basically I'm just planning on stacking up Azerite damage until it gets to the point where you can't kill me. Oh no. Oh, I don't care. Ten, sixteen. You have, you have made thunder, a thunder. Your thirst for victory. 